the DJI Avada 2 is about to be released. Is it better than the DJI Avada? And if it is, should you upgrade if you have the Avada already? In this video, I'm going to share everything I've learned about the Avada 2 and I'm going to compare it to the original Avada drone as well. That way you can make an informed decision. Just because it's new doesn't necessarily mean it's better. G'day mate, with the Avada 2 about to be released in the next 24 hours, I thought I would do a comparison video between these two drones. Hopefully after this video, you'll have enough information on which of these two drones you may want to buy. Obviously, if you're heavily into the world of FPV, you probably don't want either of these drones unless you want to use it as like a toy. But for beginners who are looking to learn how to fly FPV drones, these two drones are great. Now I have the Avada already, I think it's fantastic, but now the Avada 2 is nearly here, I thought, do I need to upgrade? A lot of the specs of these, a lot of the specs of the F, <sighs> I can't say a lot. A lot of the specs of the Avada 2 were leaked online, so I'm going to go through them now and compare them with the original Avada. Let's start with the pricing. At the time of filming this video, the price of the original Avada Fly More Combo was $999 US, and it comes with the RC Motion 2 controller, one battery, and goggles too. Now prices may change here, but the Avada 2 is also $999 US for the Fly More Combo, and it comes with the RC Motion 3 controller and goggles 3 as well, plus one battery. So currently it's the same price, but keep in mind once the Avada 2 comes out, the Avada will probably be discounted heavily. I've already seen it priced as low as $849 US already. Now let's check out some of the specs. I'm going to talk about speed and battery life later in the video, but let's start with how they look in comparison to each other. The original Avada is a good looking drone. It's modern, it's functional, and it's small. But the Avada 2 has a more streamlined appearance and looks a bit more aerodynamic as well. All right, let's talk about some camera specs. The Avada 2 has a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, and the Avada has a 1 over 1.7 inch CMOS sensor. Both drones are able to shoot at the aperture of f2.8, and they both have a focal length of 12.7 millimeters. So no difference in the settings between the two at the moment. Both drones shoot 4K, 2.7K, and they'll both do 60, 100, 120 frames per second. And the video format for the Avada 2 is MP4, just like it was for the Avada originally. So what about ISO range? Well, both drones have exactly the same ISO range between 100 and 25,600 in manual mode. And they both have 155 degree field of view as well, so there's no advantage having the Avada 2 at the moment. And effective pixels, both are using 48 megapixels. Although a lot of the stats are similar, the fact that the CMOS sensor is a little bit different on the Avada 2 makes me think it's probably running the Action 4 cam camera, or at least the specs of that camera. And that camera on the Action Cam is amazing, so we should see a lot more improvement with the Avada 2 when it comes to camera footage and image quality. This next spec is really for people who are interested in using the Avada for filmmaking. If you're just using this as a hobbyist, this probably won't make any difference to you, but if you want to use it for filmmaking or you're heavily into having the best quality footage you can get, the Avada 2 does shoot in D-Log, which the Avada doesn't do. The original Avada shoots standard d cine like But if you're a beginner, this makes no difference whatsoever. In the Avada 2, the Electronic Image Stabilization, or the EIS, has been changed as well. The Avada 2 will be using the Rocksteady 3 Plus Horizon Steady, whereas the Avada only supports Rocksteady and Horizon Steady. Size differences between the two are minimal, but the Avada 2 is heavier at 458 grams versus 410 grams for the Avada. So let's talk about ascent speed, how quick it goes up. Just to give you a reference point on the speeds, the ascent speed for the Avada 2 is 6 meters per second, and the ascent speed for the Avada is 6 meters per second. But the big thing we probably need to talk about here is the flight time, because that's all we really want to know, right? How much flight time can I get out of the Avada 2 versus the Avada? The Avada 2 is running a 3400 mAh battery, and the Avada runs a 2420 mAh battery, or milliamp hour if you want me to say it that way. Although the Avada 2 is actually a little bit heavier, it still produces a max hover time of 23 minutes. Which is pretty impressive considering the Avada is 18 minutes hover time as well. So you should get an extra 5 minutes out of each battery. And you'll need that extra 5 minutes because the extended range or flight range, as in how far you can go away from yourself, is 13 kilometers in the Avada 2 versus 11.6 in the Avada, which is a huge improvement. Alright, let's talk about how fast this thing can go. Let's talk about the speed of the Avada 2. Top speed of the Avada 2 is 60.4 miles per hour or 97.2 kilometers an hour, which is a little bit quicker than the original Avada of 60 miles per hour or 96.5 kilometers an hour. This next stat I thought was pretty interesting because the charge time between the two drones is vastly different. Did I say drones? The original charge time for a battery on the Avada was 47 minutes, but the charge time on the Avada 2 is cut down to 40 minutes, which is great if you've got a bunch of batteries and you're trying to keep flying. For every two batteries you're using on the Avada 2, one will be charged in that time. So you get a bit more time flying at least. 
Now the one feature I thought was pretty cool, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be true or not, so we're going to have to wait and see, but the Avada 2 has a picture-in-picture -picture display inside your goggles. Don't give me a hard time on this because it hasn't been confirmed, but I think this will be used to show your surroundings. So basically when you're using your goggles, you're not actually in the dark. You're going to be able to see the real world as well as what your drone can see as well. So no more bumping into stuff, no more tripping over, no more people sneaking up on you. Plus, you're not going to get hit by a car or a bus or a train or a plane. Hopefully. So for safety alone, it's an awesome feature. Another feature of the Avada 2 that the Avada does not have is obstacle avoidance. At least I'm pretty sure the original doesn't have that. I haven't actually tested it. I should. If I'm wrong on any of these points, by the way, feel free to comment below and let me know. I'm only human, right? Some of this stuff on the Avada 2 has been speculative, so we're not sure how much of this is going to be true and how much it isn't. So we're not going to really be able to confirm a lot of this stuff until the Avada 2 is released. All right, now we've been through the specs of both drones. Which one should you buy if you're looking to buy an FPV, if you want to buy one of these two? If you're a beginner, you should probably buy one of these two drones because DJI are the best drone makers on the planet currently. I've had four DJI drones in my life and never had a problem with any of them. They've never malfunctioned, never had a problem. Early on, we had firmware issues, but hardware-wise, they've never failed me, which is why I keep buying them. Okay, so first scenario, you don't have any of these FPV drones at all. Well, then I would wait for the Avada 2 because currently they're both the same price, so why pay full price for the Avada when in a couple of days you'll be able to get the Avada 2 with all these extra specs. So if you don't have one of these drones, obviously buy the new Avada 2 because the prices are going to be the same at the moment. But if you're budget conscious and you want an FPV drone, you can wait till the Avada 2 is released and then buy the original Avada because as I said before, that price will probably be heavily discounted. Now if you already have the Avada like I do, should you upgrade to the Avada 2? At this point, I'm going to say no. There just isn't enough features to make me want to spend that money again to upgrade from one drone to another. To put it into a nutshell, the actual specs you get for the DJI Avada 2 are superior camera, obstacle avoidance, quicker charge time, extra five minutes of flight time, you can film in D-Log and you get longer range. As far as speed goes, they're pretty much the same. There are, of course, many other specs, but these are just the main ones. But if you're happy using your original Avada and you're enjoying using it and it does everything you want to do, then these specs really aren't that important. Unless you need the latest and greatest for your job, of course, then obviously if you need to have the latest drone for your job, obviously you're going to upgrade anyway. I'll probably upgrade when the Avada 3 comes out, whenever that is. I love my original Avada FPV drone, so much so that I recently bought a new case for it, and yes, I even did a video on it right here. Until next time.